Hello friends, this video on graphs part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we learned about bar graph, let's talk about double bar graph. Now looking at the picture, you might have got some idea that instead of one bar, you have two bars joined together and that is why it is called a double bar graph. Now let's see in more detail what exactly is a double bar graph. So this is a bar graph showing two sets of data simultaneously. That's interesting. Now what do we mean by two sets of data? Now let us take this example. Now let's say that this survey which was done by the teacher uh, about the favorite fruits in her classroom, the same survey was done in two consecutive years. It was done in 2014. The survey was also done in 2015. So in 2014, whatever was the result of that survey, like the students were given four options, mango, apple, grapes and banana, and they had to choose one of the most liked fruits. And we, using that, we came up with a bar graph in 2014. Similarly, we came up, we did the same survey again in 2015 and we came up with a bar graph again in 2015. Now, what do you have? You have one bar graph for 2014. You have one separate bar graph for 2015. Now, what if I ask you to represent this entire data of both the years in one graph? So is that possible? So that is possible only with a double bar graph because using single bar graph, you cannot do that. Like for every fruit, you would need one rectangular bar. Now, how will you know that whether that rectangular bar represents 2014 or it represents 2015? So to solve that problem, we came up with double bar graph. So this is how a double bar graph looks like. So here your X and Y axis are of the similar pattern. It is just that you have two bars, two rectangular bars for each fruit. So one bar represents 2014. The other bar represents 2015. Now just to distinguish between the two bars, we colored them differently. So here all the green colored bars represent 2014. All the blue colored bars represents 2015. So this is called a double bar graph. Now the question is, what is the importance of double bar graph? So obviously one importance is this, that it can, uh, it can represent two sets of data simultaneously, like the data for 2014 and the data for 2015 could be represented together in the same graph. So that is one obvious benefit. What is the other benefit that is there of this double bar graph? The other benefit is it helps us to do a comparative study of data for two different years like it helps us to compare two different but related sets of data for example in this case even though the data are for two different years but they are basically the same data like similar data so both these uh, graphs are for a uh, favorite fruit survey right one is for 2014 the other one is for 2015 now if you want to compare the result of 2014 with that of 2015 then double bar graph really helps for example if looking at this double bar graph if we want to analyze that which is that fruit whose liking has decreased over years that means the liking for that fruit has decreased from 2014 to 2015 and i mean which is that fruit whose liking has decreased the maximum in this one year that means what which is that fruit which was liked in 2014 but was less liked in 2015 and like the difference is maximum in which fruit so that you can very easily say looking at this uh, double bar graph so for apple you see the liking has reduced by this much amount for mango the liking has reduced by only this much amount for grapes the liking has reduced only by slight amount and for mango for a banana the liking has reduced again by some small amount so if you actually look at the parameter this parameter that which is that fruit in whose case the reduction in the liking is the maximum so that decrease is maximum so obviously that fruit would be apple so basically you see that using this double bar graph, you can very easily compare these two sets of data. The data of 2014 and 15 can be very easily compared to each other using a double bar graph. Now let us see how do we interpret a double bar graph. 
so this double biograph shows the performance of students in first term and second term examination and maximum marks for each subject is 100 and this shows the marks for english hindi math science and social science so green bars represent first terminal and blue bars represent second terminal okay now how do we interpret from this double bar graph now let's say if i ask you which are the subjects whose performance in which the performance of students have improved from first term to second term that means the performance in first term was lesser than that of their performance in second term so just compare the two graphs wherever you see that the first term graph that is the green bars are smaller than the blue bars so in case of english the green bar is smaller than the blue bar that means the performance has improved again in case of maths the green bar is smaller than the blue bar so here also the performance has improved in case of so science also the performance has improved and in case of social science also the performance has improved right so in english math science and social science the performance has improved from first term to second term whereas in case of hindi the performance has deteriorated from first terminal to second term now if we ask that which is that subject where the improvement in performance is maximum because there is an improvement in performance in english math science and social science but where the improvement is the maximum it would be that where the difference is maximum so in this case that this much is the difference in english this is the difference in science this is the difference and in social science this is the difference so the difference is maximum in case of maths so therefore we can say that in case of maths the performance has improved the maximum so in this fashion we can interpret a double bar graph thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you